hurts, but it's okay. Hi, welcome back to my channel. Throughout my entire life, I always liked to do a lot of things. I consider myself a jack of all trades and I don't think this will ever change. And the struggle always is how to actually combine all of those things into one schedule so that I can grow on all fronts on a weekly basis. I always managed to somehow connect all of those things, but I ended up sleep deprived and that's just not an answer. I tried so many different things. And finally, I can say that I came up with an answer. First of all, you have to list out all of the things that Ideal You does on a daily basis, weekly basis, monthly basis, all of the basis. Basically write down all the things you want to do in your life and be very specific how much time you want to be spending doing that thing or how often you want to do that or ideally both and for you to have a full picture of your entire life you have to look at it categorically so there is emotional mental intellectual spiritual physical financial and artistic some of those things may overlap and that's great that should happen i want you to take all of the things you've written down and rewrite them categorized by frequency of doing things. If you want to meditate daily, you write meditate for 20 minutes under daily. If you want to work out three times a week, under three times a week, you write work out for an hour. If you want to have a monthly review once a month, I'm pretty sure you know what to do. <laughs> I wrote in my list on paper in my bullet journal, but I also wanted to have a digital version, so I created a page in Notion that has all of that information. The things you wrote under daily are the things you should consider adding to your daily routines. You can create a morning routine or an evening routine or a wind down routine or a working routine or a gym routine or a spiritual routine. I personally ended up with a morning routine and an evening routine that gathers most of the tasks I want to do on a daily basis. Creating your routines is the most solid tool you can use for you to be sure that you will do those things daily. That's why I think it's so important to create your routines around the things that you want to do and not what everybody else is saying. So please remember you're the center of your own universe and it's okay to do just the things you want to do. Thank you. When it comes to the weekly, monthly and quarterly things, these are the things you schedule. Every single month, every quarter, every six months, you have to schedule in scheduling those items. So for example, every month you should have a reminder on your calendar that you should schedule other things. Same with things you do every three months and things you do every six months and even things you do every year. In that way, you can make sure that those things actually will get done. And when you get that reminder, you just have to sit down with your list of tasks and schedule the next month, three months and so on, depending on what other things are happening in your life. I believe that's the only way to actually see how much time we have and to actually use our time well. Don't forget to schedule some later time for yourself. Of course, sometimes you have to prioritize. I always struggle with that part <laughs> because I want to do everything. But what has helped me is always remembering that it's not a schedule for the rest of my life. It's just the schedule that I have now. In just one year, it will be so much different probably sooner because I like to change things quite often. If you like that kind of content then please subscribe and you will be notified about my latest content. Thank you so much for watching, I love you more than I love coffee and life is a story, so make it a good one. Bye guys!